Tamala Man's song, Take Me to the King. I understand what she meant when she said, Truth is, I'm tired. Options are few. Absolutely. Me. <laughs> the only difference is, is I pray and I know God is surrounding me. Like, that is the only thing that's keeping me sane right now. So I'm leaving my house, right? Going back to my aunt's house. Uh, don't know if I'm going to spend the night at my aunt's house tomorrow. But I'll be back over here at some point because I got to put on my clothes are here. Uh, I think I might. I think I might spend the night at her house again tomorrow. I don't know. I just see. I have no internet. Like, how does one live without internet when I don't have any cable? So like I can't listen, I can't be in a silent house. I don't I don't sleep. I need some kind of like background noise to go to sleep. It is very quiet in here. I did clean out my refrigerator and my freezer. Five black bags that I threw away. I threw pretty much everything away. Um it didn't stink. It wasn't stinky in there, but uh I mean, it wasn't stinky in my refrigerator or my freezer, but like legit because I don't know when the power came back on, like everything froze back. <laughs> like everything in the freezer was frozen. So yeah, that was fun. Um, yeah. So let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all, this might be a little TMI, but like I feel like I should have with y'all anyway, so let me just tell y'all what I did. Okay. So I've been using the Lumi. Yeah, Lumi. I've been using the body wash. I cannot for the life of me find the deodorant that I bought. I don't know where it is. I've used it I have been all of twice and I don't know where it is. Um, I'm thinking it's on the side of my bed. I just ain't checked, right? Okay, cool. So, I use the body wash. I like the body wash. I don't use the body wash every day. I use it every three days. And we are good. But then it's because I've been over at my aunt's house. I have not been using my body wash because my body wash is at the house, right? So clear as day, I look different because I took a shower um, before I left the house. So I was like, you know what? I'm going on a date with babe tomorrow. We already figured out that I'm not going to have internet until sometime Saturday. Let's just go ahead and do some self maintenance right so I'm not a wax girl I don't get wax and I don't shave I nair if y'all can see where this is going okay cool um I've been without my so I notice odor because I have a fupa and I had a c-section so I have a scar down there along with my little little fupa, right? So I sweat during the summertime. The one thing I do not like about Lume is it makes me sweat even more. Um so I used to put like you know deodorant in that little fold or whatever, but since I started wearing Lume and I wasn't like having any smells or whatever I stopped okay cool the issue with that is my skin gets very irritated very come on come on come on come on bruh my skin my skin oh man, I'm driving crazy my skin gets very irritated very easily my skin is very sensitive it's, all, it's like always been that way I can't I can't help it oh y'all going to the club early okay um a little night a little joint anyway I can't help it so it gets irritated so like I'm and I'm an itchy person so like when I start itching one place it's like every part of my body starts itching I don't know if y'all can tell that right here where it's red is because I was just over here scratching 
Why am I scratching right there? I don't know. Um, but I'm scratching, and now my skin is red right there. Uh, if I scratch anywhere else, I'm gonna be red. And yes, I'm about to go into somebody's grocery store with a tank top on. Mind your business. Normally, I don't. If I got on some shorts, a tank top. I just took a whole shower. I'm ready for somebody. <laughs> I'm ready for the bed. <laughs> burn at first at first I would say probably after it was on for like 30 seconds I was like holy shit what the fuck and like I'm saying like I'm, I'm cursing out loud I'm like oh that burn guys and look there does not take too long to work for me honey because it say three minutes. I think I took that thing off in two. Um, and I got the hair off. But now up under my stomach, that's like right, you know, where the stomach part meets, is red, irritated with burns, and then the top part of my is red, irritated with burns. So when I go to this grocery, when I go to this grocery store to get, cause if if this not it had not happened, I would have just went straight to my aunt's house. Like I already cooked my little salmon burgers that I'm gonna have, put the other two in my freezer. Um, but if this had not happened, I need to go get some some ointment, cause the problem with this area is one folds over, it sits on top of each other. So, when is it ever, like, when is it ever fully dry? I had to put something down there so I could sweat. I go to the gym tomorrow. Tomorrow is gym day. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not skipping gym day because of this. Um, but now, you know, I can't put no deodorant on it so I won't sweat. Hey, 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 listen. Come on now. I can't put no deodorant on so it won't sweat because... I'm not trying to get anything infected or anything like that. Um, I'm just so upset at myself. Like, and that was my fault. I was, I was doing too much. I wasn't paying attention. I was not focused. Because I got 8,000 different things running through my mind at any given moment, at any given time. Can I tell you? But right now, even though I haven't finished drinking this shake, because I got, still got some because I, I got busy on other sh stuff, I'm hungry. Like, my body is like, okay, so you going to feed us today? When are you feeding us? Granny, it's only been about two hours and some change since I ate last. But my, it was, I only had them carrots. And I didn't finish my shape. But my body is saying, we are hungry. And we don't know why you haven't eaten yet. But we're not pleased. And my body does not do that. I don't know if it's the supplements or what that's making it like. Because that, that thing is supposed to boost your metabolism. So I don't know if it's like, okay, we hungry. We ready for some more protein. We ready for some more food. And like low key I ain't gonna I ain't gonna key y'all today is one of those days where I just want to stress eat and while I could go to the store and pick up something too stressy I don't want it like I'm looking forward to eating some yogurt and some dang on peanuts 
as my little dessert because that's what I had yesterday and that it was bomb. I'm over it. So all the stuff that I packed up in my car, I had left in my car. I'm glad I did. Cause what was the point of taking it out of said car when you have to go back to your aunt's house? So I'm gonna leave most of the stuff in there. I think I'm gonna take my bag that's in my car that got like my computer and stuff. I'm gonna take that back in the house and then I think I'm gonna take like I need you to focus on the road. I don't know what you focus on, but you you holding me up. Um what's about to say? You gonna make me mad. Cause I, when I was throwing away stuff at my house, I was like, "Bruh, I still had this cheese, and I just bought new cheese. A whole thing of cheese I just I ain't open." I'm sorry. There's certain things that I can't ever let go in life, and cheese is gonna be one of them. Like I could be vegetarian. I don't like being vegan because I do not like vegan cheese. I tried it before. It's not. It's not it. It's not that girl. Okay. And y'all be speeding like y'all could just pop these lights. Like everybody needs to stop. Like God just made y'all so special or something. Um. Like, about to stroll up to the snow. Cheese. We're gonna get another thing of yogurt because I feel like tomorrow uh, I'm going to work out at home. I'm gonna have me like some kind of little snack and like another yogurt or whatever, and then I'm gonna go work out at the gym. And then I'm going to the house, I'm going to take a shower, I'm going to get dressed at said house, and then I'm probably going to Babe's house. Um, so I gotta do all this early. always up early anyway so if I get up at 6 do my hour of cardio at 6 to 7 have something to eat at like 7 ish 7 30 be at the house at the gym which is like two three minutes away from my aunt's house be at the gym by like 7 45 so another hour 7 45 to 8 45 go home that'd be nine yeah, it'll work out. That's the, see, that's how I calculate things in my mind. All right, so I'm about to go into Schnooks to get me some cheese, some yogurt, and ointment. Y'all, hey. It's early in the morning. You are looking at dumb just. <laughs> Had I known that this Walgreens over here by my aunt's house was open super early. You know what? Can't even say that I didn't know that it was open last night. It was just that I was too tired to come to multiple places. Usually I put a seatbelt on. I rode over here with no seatbelt on. So let me update y'all on the situation I got going on with this chemical burn <laughs> that I got from this goddamn on there, right? 
So yesterday it was not too terrible. Like it was bad, but it wasn't like horrible when I talked to y'all. Like I was a little sore. Um whatever case may be. I don't think I can cut this the right way. But whatever, we're gonna go over with it. Um so I was a little sore. Thank God I don't work today. Because I probably would have called off. Alright. So out curse words holding back wanting to scream out in pain because that's how bad it was and then that went from now just totally like even now like oh shit hold on been sore ever since and then now I'm like oozing like that might be TMI but like last night I went to sleep Mel and I gotta go pee got up went to the bathroom and like I had this like liquid stuff on my um on my shorts and then because it's oozing and then this morning, it's just like more. And it's like, I think one, the issue is, is that because it burned on both sides and essentially you have your upper vaginal area and then you have your stomach that hangs over. This friction is not a good look either way but it burned on both sides so it burned on this part and then burned on the bottom part of my stomach and so like they are like <laughs> meshing together so i'm just like this is ridiculous the, my, so i went and i got up and i went to go get something to dress it so like it won't rub each other and then there's like a cushion to kind of cover it so I got that. I got some like burn gel that has aloe vera in it, which I probably should have got from the jump. Um, I'm going to keep the ointment because I feel like after it starts to heal, I'm going to need that ointment just to keep make sure everything's everything, everything's straight. And I got some tape to keep the, the dressing in place. I really messed myself up and I'm so mad about it. Like I'm so mad that I got in my head and I was not thinking because I know how sensitive and irritated my skin gets and I just was not thinking honestly I don't think the burn is like super bad or it could like you know I think I got it off in time that it couldn't that it wasn't as bad as it could be but I feel like it's just in a spot where you know how like burns like to like layer over or scab over or like you know try to heal the body try to heal itself but it can't because it's cushioned in between I ain't even gonna hold y'all so I haven't worked out yet uh, I was supposed to go to the gym today I don't think I'm gonna go to the gym I think I'm gonna try to do an at home workout like I'm gonna try to get a little walk in like I normally do but I gotta get this figured out first so 
This is my stuff from Walgreens. I just told y'all what I got. Surgical dressing, the little tape stuff, the little gel stuff to go over it. And then I picked up these two. Did I need to pick them up? No. They were on sale two for seven. And I haven't tried this flavor. The Super Cookie Crunch. I haven't tried this one yet. But I've tried this one. Like, I get that I'm not really supposed to be eating a lot of protein bars. That that's, like, not really, like, the good look. Like, it's supposed to be more, like, food-based stuff. But, your girl lives off convenience. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't even gonna hold you. I live off convenience. And sometimes at work, it's just easier to eat a protein bar than it is to eat some food. I mean, so yeah, that's where we are. I just wanted to come and say, I hate my life, y'all. <clears throat> so, you can't tell. <laughs> but I wanted to give y'all a reference. So, I have, I have the gods on. The, the stuff, the, uh, what's that card called? That burn gel? I'm just gonna get some aloe vera gel. Just plain out aloe vera. Call it a day. Cause I didn't even get to the bad parts. It was burning. I said, oh no, 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 no. I I washed it off and I just put that surgical thing on. And while it's still sore, I feel so much better. But y'all, this is crazy. So, cause I have underwear on, you can't really tell. But y'all see this? This, 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 this is what I'm talking about. This, this little that won't ever go away is up under here. So it's in a weird space. And I think that's what causing it to rub. But having the surgical dressing on makes it better. I won't say it feels like 8,000%, but like I feel like I can walk and move and function better than I was. So I'm trying to get my little morning work out in little walk you walk and yeah these are the type of biker shorts that your girl likes the cotton ones even though these fit feel like they fit a little big but I have the same pair from rainbow and gray and they fit tighter so I'm telling you I think Rainbow she and y'all the same. Anyway, who is a new vlog vlog um I went out with babe today heat day full effects it's something about dating somebody who you don't ever have to say a word to about who you are that just knows you that is refreshing I've had on what am I 
another outfit for today. A third outfit. This I got from Timu. I'ma show y'all when I get to my eye toss. I'ma put a little clip in of what it looks like. Okay. Here's the shirt. Here's the shirt. Here's the shirt. Here's the Shorts. I mean, not leggings, bag of shorts. They have the earbuds matching with the logo on the top. Forms of hearts. Uh, $10. I think $10 is some change. Just a short set. I wanted short sets because, like I told y'all, this summer your girl is going to be rocking short sets and shorts all summer so I got a bunch of little short sets or whatever this is a matching top with some finals but of course I could switch it up for a case maybe I really need some aloe vera but I don't know where I would go and get it from and I don't feel like stopping like I need 100% aloe vera don't give me nothing else in it no nothing that I just need aloe vera or maybe I just get me some like because um, that um, anywho I'm tired of stopping at places and pining and stuff today um so let's recap what was I saying oh it's something refreshing just about dating somebody. So, like, today was cheat day. I knew it was going to be what, you know, me not really tracking for real, eating outside my norm, you know, not really counting no calories. I had a drink. Uh, I tried to capture what they said this drink was that we had because we both had the same drink he ordered. Anytime that me and him go out to eat, or go anywhere honestly I hardly ever look at a menu because he's probably gonna order for me a good 90% of the time like he knows what I like he knows what I eat he will order for me so it's like if we go on like a date day and it's something that he orchestrates I ain't looking at no menu I ain't ordering nothing like literally he snatched a menu out of my hand and was like what you looking at that for and now he was like would you looking for something to add on to what you get because I already know I'm eating and I was like oh can I get like does it can we add on hush puppies I, I had a taste for hush puppies um but she did and I ain't gonna lie to you I ain't even gonna hold you I'm gonna finish some hush puppies today um he does what he always does and okay so let, let's just break down this date real quick um, we went to this seafood place called Crab's Landing, right? And he got me like a seafood boil. He got himself a seafood boil. Baby boy, don't eat no seafood like that. He's not heavy into seafood. He only, t he t really took me there because I'm not eating meat. And I've been like really like 10 toes down about it. Not going back and forth like, oh yeah, I really don't mess with it, but I'm gonna eat it today. Or I eat it every now and then and I'll go back to not eating it. Like I'm really trying to pinpoint what it is that gives me allergic reactions and cut it out of my diet entirely. Like so I've been like really like 10 toes down about what I eat and what I consume for the most part. So I hate this street. Uh, so he he was taking me somewhere else, and I was like, because he said something about jerk chicken, and I looked at him. I said, "Babe, I don't eat chicken. Like I don't eat meat." And then I said, "You know I don't eat meat. I eat only seafood." And then it was like, "Oh, you're right." So he had to switch gears. So anywho, even though when he told me about that place, it's like I want to go. Like I just want to ask him, like, "Hey, I know they don't they, they do jerk, jerk chicken, but like, hey." They do like fish because if so, I'm intrigued. Um, because I like Creole, anyway, that's the last one. So, we went to 
past landing or whatever and he doesn't really eat seafood like that but he gets himself a seafood oil and he gets chicken wings so i kind of already knew off tops like off friends like this man is gonna pick up this oil seafood oil or not hardly eat it at all and he's gonna wrap it up and tell me to take it home why you got that like when we were sitting there eating it, he's eating his chicken wings i looked at him i said i don't even know why you got that because excuse me i said i don't know why you got that because you know all you gonna do is eat like one or two things out of there and then hand it to me uh and, 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 so you know, um i was like hand it to me and be done with it and want me to take it home and he was just like, uh-uh, I'm going to eat it. He ain't nothing out of that thing. Literally, he was like, you know what, you're right. And he's like, oh, that was your idea. Anyway, I knew that I was going to have food with him. We had a day to eat. So, I wasn't really, like, expecting, like, much. I knew that we would spend some time together because, you know, we're going to spend some time together. But, outside of going out to eat I wasn't really expecting you know so much more than that but I knew in my mind I was like oh yeah when I like when I'm on or whatever I'm gonna eat some ice cream like when I get home your girl is gonna have her like get her some ice cream today because that's the thing mind you I never mentioned nothing about ice cream to him I didn't say nothing about ice cream to nobody but inside my brain yesterday when I was at the grocery store that's it that's all so then this man takes me to this place called Clementine's nice and naughty ice cream in the St. Louis area if you have not been please check it out it is phenomenal best ice cream I've had in a long time 10 toes down we get in there and he's like yeah, you gotta pick at least like two or three schools. I'm, I'm really thinking you should just pick three. And I'm just like, okay. And he was like, you can taste test it before you eat, like get it or whatever. But I already know, like I'm, from, I'm looking at the flavors and I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna have this. But I wasn't sure what I was gonna get for like my last flavor. So, I'll tell you the three flavors I got, if I can remember them off the top of my head right now. Um, I got the ooey gooey butter cake because that's supposed to be like the St. Louis thing. Um, if you don't like really sweet ice cream, really sweet cake, buttery cake, it ain't gonna be for you, but it definitely was for me. I had a scoop of that, I had a scoop of the salted caramel cookies and cream, which was good. Would I get it as a trio? No, I probably would get that like as a solo flavor. Like, you know, next time I go, like, I just want one scoop of it. And then the third option or the third flavor that I got was, I don't remember the name of it. I think, I want to say it was like brittle, something brittle cookie or no, Italian cookie, I think it was. Italian cookie tastes like eating Briscoff ice cream and like huge chunks of it with I mean that ice cream was so decadent and so good and the thing about it is you could get it in a, in a cup which is no extra charge you just pay for like the scoop or you could get it in like a cone or whatever or a waffle bowl and so she's telling us because you know I've never been and so he was like oh don't worry about it I know what she got well I know She's going to have hers in a waffle bowl. And I looked at him. And I was just like, bruh. I was like, how you know that? And the lady laughed. And she was like, oh, y'all are such a cute married couple. Like, y'all really know each other. He was like, well, we're not married. Because we're not. But that's how well he knows me. Like, yes, if I could get my, my ice cream in a waffle bowl, please give it to me that way every time. Ten toes down. Like, I didn't get no toppings added on it. I didn't get no other stuff added to it because it didn't need anything else. 
Like, granted, I'm gonna tell you right now. I know I ate all the calories today. Girl ain't stepping on no scale tomorrow. Catch me on Monday because my weight is really weird in the fact that it will double over. Like, whatever I consume, I, it will it will, it will be there. So. <laughs> It'll be there until Sunday. So, like, I, if when I do days like this, I really don't like to step on the scale the next day. But I do know that I'm going to have some more seafood tonight. I do know that I'm going to finish some hush puppies tonight. And I know I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pressed about it. Like, and then I will utilize all that seafood and the meat and the stuff because guess who don't guess who gets boiled with no sausage i don't do sausage no more so i don't get boiled with sausage but i would definitely take the the seafood meat the shrimp the crab meat and i would repurpose it and you so slow and dumb i would repurpose it and use it uh a different way so that um I'm not getting bored off of it, so quesadillas, uh, some of everything. And the crazy part is, is that lit or being over here by my aunt. Hold on, this I think they 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 block the dang on out. Um, being over here by my aunt, she lives like by this place that has some amazing um, crab ragoon. And part of me wants to go, <laughs> wants to go over there and just be like, "Well, you gonna be fat today? We gonna be fat forever." But we can't be fat forever, y'all. I mean, we can't be. Granted, my my trips to the gym help keep me good to go, but. This, these hush puppies and this, this seafood will last me. And that ice cream definitely hit the spot. I don't need nothing else. Not a thing. So, if you have made it this far, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy what you see. Um, thank you for coming and staying tuned. Um, I hope you have subscribed and joined the squad. And yeah, until next time. Bye. Second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say it, you were